Thanks for stopping by. I'd like to preface this video by saying it is not a knitting tutorial, but another video where we peruse some pattern books. Um, depending on when you see this, you may have heard me already mention that I had quite a few pattern books that, um, well, literally one, two, three, four, five, five books that I hadn't showed you guys that I was planning on looking through for some inspiration for my holiday projects for 2021 and because I was going to pick some stuff out of them I didn't want to like just show you the project until I showed you the book they came from first so I was like why don't I just work on this series some more look through some more pattern books with you identify some projects that I thought I would use and then, you know, later on when we go through the the weekly schedule of when I'm knitting and everything, then we'll know for sure what I've used from where. So, um, this is the second book that I have pulled from my pile that I hadn't yet showed you guys. And so this is the Cat Knits. And I was very lucky because this is actually one of two knitting books that came to me um, in 2020 for my birthday from my brother and his fiance. They not only gave me a gift card to Michael's that I plan to use to buy some picture frames with for some some cat prints that I have sitting around, but they got me some knitting books. And it's funny because my brother's fiance asked me over Christmas if I'd used them yet. And I said, no, I've been busy making everybody socks, but maybe... Maybe this year, because, you know, part of my resolution, or not my resolution, part of my tasks and my goals is to finish up or at least continue to work on the projects I already have in existence. So that means no new cast-ons unless it's specifically for the holidays. So other people's new cast-ons, sure, but nothing new for myself. And I have plenty to keep me busy for the rest of the year. That is not a joke. So... Um, let's go through here. Let's get some wishful thinking going. So maybe some more motivation to whip through the rest of the ones that I already have so that I can start on some of these. I definitely like the aesthetic, I will say. Not only is the cat cute, but, um, just like the colors worked, um... I think it's very nice, very aesthetically pleasing. So this is Fat Cat. So this section is all about making big knits. So the sweater obviously isn't one that I'm going to knit because that's going to take time, but maybe for myself one day. But I'm looking through this as the purpose of what can I make for other people right now. Since I already have enough projects on my own plate, this is specifically just for looking through to plan for my holiday knitting. This cat shawl. This is kind of going with that same theme. You see the little cat and his little eyes right there. And I like this this design because it's simple you know if you're a beginner knitter um, I think these yeah these have a key uh, so you know if it's just one ball of yarn that means it's a pretty easy knit for um, great for a beginner great quick project for an advanced knitter or intermediate knitter this cat hat I wrote this down as a maybe project for my cousin's daughter, only because it's it's a bulky yarn, um, it's easy because it has one little ball there, and you know, I mentioned, hmm, I'm not sure what order, you're definitely going to see this after the other knitting pattern book that we looked at, but I don't know if it's coming before or after my inventory um, video. But anyway, at some point in the last week or so, you'll see a video where I'm talking about how I noticed that some books are always specifying like what um, 
what yarn to use. And this one in particular, this book is always talking about Eden Cottage yarns, all different types. So this is chunky, and I think because this is a hundred meters or 109 yards let me just one second i still have my notebook in here i'm filming a lot of videos in one go and i think i might have enough bulky yarn for that let's see this is bulky right just yeah just chunky not super just regular Ooh, i probably can okay so this is saying you need 100 meters or 109 yards and the um the bulky yarn that i used for the okay this is this is going back in time two years ago i can't believe it's already two years ago so this is 2021 right 2019 i made a wrap for my aunt and it was a chevy wrap it was called Chevy. It was just like a really nice, simple V-shaped pattern. Check out my Knitting Ahead for the Holidays playlist. You'll see it in there. Um, I used this Haiku Ah, or no, it was Oh yarn. And I have tons of it left because I didn't, I didn't know how to gauge how much I needed. Um, so I usually buy a lot more than I need, and I have a whole extra hank that i've wound up in a cape and a little bit more of that so my last video i was talking about maybe doing mittens for her but i'm thinking i can do this hat a cute brown soft cat hat for my cousin's daughter because i have all of the bulky weight i need to make that so um let me Ooh, I could do the hat, and maybe I can make her this cow because it's the same pattern, and it only uses two two skeins of one hundred meter, same 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 bulky yarn, and I already have. <laughs> I have about 200, well, 250 or so, 250 or so of that total. Um, so I think I have enough for it. My gauge is all over the place too. So I'm definitely going to do the hat first and then I'll see how much I have, but I'm pretty sure I can, I can squeeze, squeeze two of those out of there. Now these are super dainty. These are cute. So we're gonna take a look at them, but they're definitely not for right now. Cause this is gonna take a lot of work. And I don't have any wires to block, so I would have to use all my little teeny pens to point these little edges here. But it's very cute. And I would Problem. I mean, I love these colors, but I kind of go for like jewel tones, a little bit darker, just because I know it's going to get cat fur on it. It's going to get dirty because it's hanging around in my neck and I sweat. So if it's rubbing on me, it's just going to get gross. Um, but I love the colors and the detail on it is just like, look at that. So cute. These little kitty cats right here. Like, all of that detail is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. And this one, I think, is, like, really hard. Um, what did it tell us? How many difficulties? Yeah. So this is, like, one of the hardest ones because it has three balls right there. The shawl is really cute, too. And, of course, it's, like, a theme. So it's not as hard. It's still like a little intermediate, but you know, if you made that sweater and the shawl, then you have this like really cute set. It might be overkill, but it kind of reminds me of, um, there's this UK boutique store. I wish, I wish I could fit the clothes cause they, they don't run big enough for me, but it's called Miss Patina 
and they have the cutest cat clothes designs. Like if I was a size three, oh man, I would be, I would be broke all the clothes I'd buy from them. <laughs> um, but these are really cute. I don't think my cousin's daughter would like those though. I don't think she's and well one she doesn't like pink but even if i did a different colorway i think these are a little bit too like frilly for her but i think on a special occasion they're just absolutely cute now big cats using intarsia i haven't done intarsia before but i would totally like these i wrote down as a maybe only because um, I think I had enough colors to use for these. And I think, I think these are worsted. Yeah, these are worsted weight. And I have like um, a teal. The teal that I used for um, Goro's um, bow. And I have a red that I didn't use at all, actually that I could use like red and blue that are nice bright poppy colors I think she would appreciate that um and yeah but those are cute but I think I could go with the bulky ones better because I already have the yarn for that and it'll go by faster but again you have like these themes where the mittens kind of go with the uh the cat capelet but they call this one creepy cat but it has the same design as the other cats. Like, they all look like that. Um, yeah, I mean, two little slanty eyes and a point. So, at least they're kind of keeping it consistent where it's like, I have one cat design and I want to apply it in different ways. I love the cardigan. It's nice and slouchy. That's the kind I like. Super, super cute. Same with the hat. Really cute. I thought that was like a maybe one, but again, it all depends on what kind of, how much worsted weight I would have. But now that I'm leaning more toward the, um, the bulky hat, I think will be fine. But there we go. Super, super cute. And again, we have more clothes that have like the same kind of theme. Um, I would wear this. I mean, I'd wear all of it, honestly. <laughs> it's just, do I have the time to make it? But these are really cute. Oops. No, oh, those are just techniques and stuff. But, um, yes, I love the model kitty. He or she is just so cute. All kitties are cute though, but, um, and this was made in 2020, so this is a brand new book. So let me know, I know we flipped through this one pretty quickly, but let me know if there are any patterns that popped out that you were like, wow, that one's super cute, I would totally love to do that one, or I have done something like that, or any common at all about anything that we've looked through. I am excited just to continue to mark things down as done on my my list of knitting projects for 2021. I am ready to to get into this year with a lot of cool projects that are interesting and different textures and different yarn weights. Um, all relatively easy. <laughs> um, hopefully all relatively manageable. But this is definitely a lot more formal, organized approach to this year's holiday knitting than I had previously. And it's so funny because it seems like it just never ends. Um, I'm just knitting, knitting, knitting for other people all the time. But in the end, it's always worth it because everybody really likes their gifts. So even if I have a little bit of a, a struggle bus moment, um, it's really nice to have a finished product at the end of that. So with that being said... Thank you so much again for watching this video and flipping through this really cute pattern book with me. I was in love with it when I first opened my present. I screamed and instantly sent a message to my my brother and his fiance saying thank you so much because this book was just everything 
Of course, it's going to be added to my Cats, Cats, Cats playlist. So if you just like cat related stuff, check out that playlist. Anything cat related that I um, explore on this channel is added to that list as well. But this is also just in my Perusing Pattern Books playlist. So if you want to watch it again, then check it out there. All right. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.